Okay, so we've got another uh, comment question from someone else in our mailbag. And this uh, person writes, I'm convinced my husband is a sex addict, but he has never admitted it. He denied every single item, whether I've seen it for myself or not. Gaslighting has become a norm. And when that doesn't work, rage takes over. How do I encourage him to come into the open? I want to work on this because I love him. What do you guys think? Well, first of all, I'm I'm sorry that that this person. It sounds like she's in distress and um, frustrated. So I just want to validate that. Um, I wish that this person had said some of the behaviors, uh, so that we would know more about this. Is this pornography? Is this cam to cam activity? Is you know? So what exactly are we talking about? Um, and I think that. It's very, very important for her to be documenting what she is experiencing or seeing and then being able to, when she confronts him, to say, hey, um, I walked in, you were watching porn. I saw what I saw, you were watching porn. So I don't want to be with someone that's watching pornography. So what are we going to do? Like kind of that I'm thinking sort of that direct if that's what's happening, but I don't, I, I don't know what's happening. See, and I, for me, I went into a different place where I, I don't need to know what's happening. I, I went into a different question of how do you help someone else get help or how do, if I think they need help, but they don't want it, what then? Well, Yes. So I think Jeannie, you and I are on the same page there. I, and I'm hearing that too. So the first thing is how is she communicating with him is what I'm thinking. Because if she says, Hey, you know, I, did I see you watching porn the other day? And he goes, Oh no, no, I wasn't. No, no, that you do. No. Well, I thought I, I thought I saw you. Oh, wasn't me. <laughs> that, that wasn't. So then now you're in a, okay, I saw, you No, I didn't, that, that could be the gaslighting piece that she was referring to potentially. Um, so how, how does she either be more direct or, you know, so that's what I, and so that's what I was saying around okay. that. Yeah. Piece. Yeah. And I think there's a big difference of having direct information that you can assert versus wondering in my mind answering this individual it was if you believe they need help or something is off and the other individual is not willing do not let that stop you from getting the help you need do, do not let that stop you go get into counseling find a coach that works for you work through how do I work this in relationship when I think there's a big problem and in this situation he does not right I don't want you that individual to feel stuck at home or alone you know please do access resources you mm -hmm. cannot make someone else do something we have it Tim and I say this and we say it often I can lead the horse to water but I cannot make the horse drink yeah and that is the same thing is that I can offer services and you as a loved one can offer support to, to get some more help, but if they're not willing to, don't let that stop you. Yeah. yeah. I, that's yeah. To punctuate was with what Jeannie was saying. You cannot, as much as you love him, as much as you think there's a problem. Um, if he doesn't think there's a problem, he doesn't want to do anything there's nothing you can really do. Yeah. And it's not going to work well <clears throat> if you just drag him in by his ear and say, you're going to go do this work. Now, I would I would lean on boundaries. You know, for for you as the partner, if you're seeing this and you're uncomfortable with it, what are your boundaries? Hey, I see these patterns. I'm worried about them. I um I am I, I'm wor I want something to shift and change. And I'm realizing I feel unsafe or I feel I'm scared or I'm whatever. And so I am going to ask that you at least go get an assessment or you go to a 12-step meeting or you go whatever it is and, and check stuff out. And um, 
and lean into that because this isn't working for me. And if you're willing to do that, then I'm willing to stay here. If you're not willing to do that, then I don't know what the boundary is. I'm not going to sleep in the same room. I'm not going to have sex with you. I'm going to move out of the house. We're not going to stay in relationship. I'm going to leave. I, what, Whatever that might be, but what is your boundary? 